Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa. Whoa, I said that fast. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be telling you guys about my coming out story. If you guys didn't know, I identify as a bisexual because <clears throat> that is what I am and is who I, it is who I identify as. I told you guys to message me on Instagram and DM me some questions that I could answer after I tell my story. And you guys did that. And I'm thankful for you guys. Um, I have them written down so I can easily just read them and answer them. But uh, my coming out story was not the easiest. <laughs> because... For one, I was raised in a very Christian family to the point where it made even me telling my parents that I liked females even the slightest bit harder. Um, I knew I started liking females when I was 16 years old, but I didn't fully come to terms with it to tell my parents until June. 2017 because it took all that I had in me to grow the courage to tell my parents <laughs> um when I realized that I started liking females I was like oh is there something wrong with me is is this a, is this the right thing to do is this is liking females bad and all the thoughts that you could possibly think of were running through my head because I was like oh, I was raised up to like men and everything in between everyone's like well if you identify as bisexual but you have a higher attraction to female than male then why don't you just identify as lesbian <clears throat> but my theory behind that is as I've been with both sexes I've been a male and female so I think that it wouldn't be right, by all means, to just say I'm straight lesbian because I've been with both, but yet I have a higher attraction to females than like, with only like a minimal attraction to a male, but not like, nothing, nothing drastic, nothing. But, um, um, what made me want to tell my parents that I was bisexual and that I liked female was probably one of the things that I sat down. I was nervous about it, I panicked about it, and I was like, what if they don't accept me and what if they don't love me because they know their daughter likes female and what if my mother disowned me because um, my mom's very Christian and she raised me in a Christian household and I was like racking my brain and everything and I was just like what if what if she doesn't like me what if she just says oh I disown you because you like female I was every single thought that you could possibly think of going through my brain I was like oh my goodness but um <clears throat> excuse me I would say coming out to my father was easier than coming out to my mother my father is overseas he works overseas 90 days at a time comes home for 30 um, me and my dad have a better relationship than me and my mother do so it's like my dad's my best friend he made it easier for me to tell him he was like I don't know why you would find it so hard to tell me and I was just like oh, I don't know I was scared <laughs> but um, when I told him I was scared to tell him. Like straight up, I was scared, worried, frightened. I had anxiety from God knows where. Um, but he wasn't home at the time when I wanted to tell him. He was overseas in Afghanistan at the time. But I was like, I have to tell him. I have to get it off my chest. I have to just let it out and just tell him straight up. So. The thing with my dad was kind of funny. 
So I had messaged him and I was like, hey dad, look, we need to talk. And he's like, okay, what's up? Like my dad's, my dad's chill, he's cool. So he was like, he was like, okay, what's up? So I was like, okay, so I have something to tell you. <laughs> and he's like, okay, just spit it out. And um, so I was like, dad, it may not be something you want to hear, but um, I like female. <laughs> and he was like, he's like, I had a feeling. I had a very high feeling. And I was like, you did? And he was like, yeah. And he was like, you rarely hang out with men, boys. Because I was like, last year. 20, 21, yeah, because I'm 22 now, 21, he was like, you very rarely hang out with men, you talk, you don't talk to men as much as you talk to females, and he was like, you've always looked at females differently than you do men, and I was like, possibly, <laughs> but um, it shocked me that my dad had already had an idea but he was like, he was like, I don't care. As long as they're happy, they treat you right and they don't hurt you, then he's like, I don't care if they're purple, green, black, orange, any color in the world, he said. He was like, I don't care. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. And he was like, I don't care if they're male, female, whatever. So my dad was 100% A-OK. -okay. But my mother, when I tried to tell her the first time, there was a time I remember, I was probably 17-ish, like 17, almost turning 18 at the time. I think I tried to mention it to her, to say, hey mom, look, um, I kind of like females too, because I had went to a, a camp, like a horseback riding camp, because I like to ride horses or whatever, and um, I think there was a time I tried to mention it to her, but she was just like, no, nah, you're just going through a phase and you're just doing this, you're just doing that. And eh. <laughs> so I was just like, nah, I just brush it off and then just keep it in, you know? And then I tried to tell her again, like right after I told my dad, like last year, June of last year. And I told her, I was like, hey, mom, um, it's the time I had a girlfriend. And I was like, mom, I have a girlfriend. And she was like, what? And I was like, yeah, I have a girlfriend. And she just sat there. It made it harder for me because my mom was like face to face with me when I said this. And it was like, my heart was doing this, like, it was ready to jump out my chest at this point. And for a second, I was freaking out. I was just like, what if she says, oh, get out the house or kick me out or something. And I was just like, I was just, whew, I was freaking out, like, mad hard, mad crazy. And, um, and she was just like, she looked at me, looked away, and then looked at me again. And she was like... I already knew and I was like wait who told you and she was like I already knew I had I had my thoughts and it's like what made her like think and if she knew then why didn't she tell me and she was like oh I knew I was just waiting for you to come to me and tell me yourself and I was just like this could have been so much easier if you, if I would have known, you would have known already. No, she was just plain secretive and she just wanted to keep it hidden that she knew. But um, after telling her, after telling her after she already knew, I was just like, oh my God. Um, I felt like a sense of relief lifted off of me and um she was just like 
she's like, I don't care. She's like, you're 21. She's like, I can't say whatever decisions you're going to make is going to be the right ones. But whatever they may be, <clears throat> you're old enough to make your own decisions, whether it's dating a male or dating a female. You have to make your decisions yourself. And if they're wrong ones, you learn from them. And she was right. I've had a lot of trial and error in the dating area. <laughs> um, but it's not like one of those drastic, crazy coming out stories. It's like a more relaxed, laid back one. But I was more anxious and stressed to tell them rather than me hiding it for so long. I mean, I knew at 16 that I liked female and I was attracted to them, but I didn't know it was gonna take me that long to even grow enough courage to tell my parents. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna answer these questions right here that you guys had DM'd me on Instagram asking me to answer them during the video. But the first question, it says, were you nervous to tell them? Yes, I was. And as I said, I found out I liked female or attracted to female at 16. And I didn't tell them until I was 21. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 21. So four, four years later, I don't know why I did this, but four years later is when I had enough courage to tell my parents that I liked female. When did you realize you liked girls? I was 16. And the funny reason I think that I found out that I had like a strong attraction to female is because <clears throat> I went to a slumber party for a birthday and it was one of my friends um, 16th birthday party. And um, we played truth or dare and um, I knew at the time that I had liked this girl and I'm not gonna say any names, but I knew at the time that I liked this girl and I was like, hmm, what if she doesn't roll that way? What if she doesn't like girls and yada, yada, yada. But then um, they said, hey, let's play um, truth or dare and spin the bottle. And you know, spin the bottle always means Someone's gonna get kissed, or someone's gonna just get hugged, or whatever. But, um, you'll play truth or dare first. And me and her were on two opposite sides, two opposite sides of the room. I was over here, and she was, like, way over here on the other side of the room. So, one of my other friends, that I think she knew that I had an idea, like, she had an idea that I had feelings for this girl, or I liked the girl, or whatever, and had, like, a major crush on her. So, she, being the sneaky one that she is, um, because it was my turn, she said truth or dare, I said dare, and she was like, I dare you to go sit next to her. So I was like, okay, that's no biggie, I'll go sit next to her, no big. So I went and sat next to her, and then we ran around the circle again, like round and round and round like three times. And then it got back to me, because there was like a big group of people, like a big group of girls. And when they got back to me, they said, truth or dare. And yet again, me being the fearful one that I am, I chose dare. And they said, I dare you to kiss her. And the room got so quiet. It was like so quiet up in, the, in my friend's bedroom. And I was just like, um, if everyone doesn't know, they're going to know already. <laughs> so, and I was like, whatever, let's just do it. And then, like, I grabbed her face like this, like, like this. And then I was just like, I just kissed her on the lips. And they're like, ooh, you kissed a girl. And I was just like, yes. And then the girl that I liked, and I kissed her, and she was all for it. And she was just like, 
hmm. And I was thinking to myself out there, I kissed her, and I was like, hmm. Like, the way she looked at me, and I was like, dude, oh my god. Like, this girl that I have a major crush on kissed me. And I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> I was so shocked. I was just like, oh my Jesus. And then, <clears throat> after that, I was sitting there. We slept beside each other that night. And literally, we really didn't even really fall asleep until it was like 4 a.m. because we were up sitting there talking and laughing. We got yelled at by people so much, telling us to shut up and all this and that. And I was just like, I'm laying beside a girl that I have like a major crush on. And I just kissed her for two. I was just, it was nerve wracking because, um, she was one of the very first girls I ever kissed. And I was just thinking to myself, I was like, I actually kissed her. Like, actually kissed her. And like, we laid there and cuddled and talked and it was just, it was at that moment, like the next morning, she had gave me her number and um, she told me to text her. And then a couple days went by and then I was, I was hesitant to text her. So I was like, what if she wants to yell at me and tell me that, uh, I'm wrong for liking girls. No, she didn't. She texted me back and she was like, um, you kissed really good for a female. And I was just like, thank you. <laughs> but then she was the first female I had strong attraction for. And I was just like, whoa, I might actually like females. <laughs> But yeah, that's when I realized that I liked girls. And the next question is, was it easy to tell your parents? Mother, no. Dad, it was easier, but it was still hard. Has coming out made dating females easier? Yes, it has. Because I don't feel in the shadows anymore. I don't feel in the dark because I came to terms with myself knowing that it's okay because everyone knows that's what I identify as. I like females. I have minimal attraction to males. And like, I don't care who it is or who you are, but like 99.9% .9 of the time, I will choose a female over a male any day. You could put me in a room full of say six guys and five girls, I'd still go to the girls rather than the guys because my attraction for females are on like a very, very strong, high level. And men, not so much. I have a very, very high attraction to females. And the last question, I've already answered it, but it says, are you attracted to men? very minimally like I could look at a man, uh, a guy and be like oh he's cute oh he has pretty eyes but that's probably as far as it goes but if it's a female on the other hand oh she has a nice body oh she has pretty eyes and she has a nice smile and nice personality like girls could go on for days and hours and hours on end I could just go on and on and on about my attraction to females and my mental attraction to male <laughs> but um but yeah that's my coming out story um if you guys want me to post any more like any more videos i'll be posting i'll try to post if not every day every other day i'm trying to form a schedule to where i can post more frequently but if you guys want, if you guys, if you guys want to see any content of any sort, leave it in the comment section down below. And um, 
my Snapchat, my Twitter, my Instagram will all be in the description box below. If you want to DM me any questions that need to be answered, feel free to. My 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 DMs are always open. I got Snapchat, I got Instagram, Twitter. Shoot me a message on anything and I'll feel free to answer any questions that you have. But um that's my coming out story and I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I hope you'll have a nice day. I love you guys.